from cat and mouse to just cat against cat. No one ever wants to be the mouse. Jennifer Capriati has got as this match progresses in this third set is the fact that she knows that Sellis will not come to the net. Sellis sets up so many points if she took two steps forward. Capriati, when she sets those in, will go in and finish it off with a volley. Sellis has been to the net twice today and missed two easy forehand volleys. Signal good. Yep. Wow. Not. The line is replay it. good. Oh, man. We'll replay it. Things are not going Capriati's way at all in this game. That's two points that she really could have won. Nevertheless, I thought that was uh, the correct call when it was corrected. I thought it did hit the line. Of course, we're a long way away. Jennifer said the ball was called out. Then she looked over the linesman, asked him, and he said he signaled good. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So whether it was the lines person or somebody in the crowd that called out, he signaled the ball good. So now the umpire has called for a replay of the point. You could... Uh, the thing you is, maybe it wasn't his... Yeah, but maybe he didn't make this. Maybe someone from the fence, some, some nut, knucklehead just called, parked it out. Anyway, it's a do-over. Oh, boy, that's a... That's a pity. I, I, I really hope that Jennifer doesn't uh, lose her way now. Well, we got some people in the crowd just coming back and saying, well, play it over. Play that one over, too. Right. This is the, uh, the most upset I've seen Jennifer Capriati on the tennis court. Game point for Silas. And Silas holds on. He has one game to love. The crowd are upset with it. I, it, it was officiatingly, as, as far as I'm concerned, it was well called. The man on the line did call out and immediately changed his call because I was watching him carefully at the time because I thought that the ball was good. So finally he made the right move. Of course, Jennifer Capriati thought that she'd won the point because he called the ball out and that's why she was upset. But the truth is that justice was done in the end. I don't think Jennifer thinks justice was done at all, Cliff. I no, think she, she thinks she, she got hooked on two calls in that in that key game. Well, I'm not saying set. what she thought. Was, I'm just <laughs> telling you justice was done. I don't know what she was thinking. Yeah. I'm telling you the justice was eventually on that point done. The other one uh, before that, I think she definitely uh, had a legitimate complaint. <laughs> yeah, I caught your drift too, Fred. Jennifer doesn't want to be second banana in this match. Yep. 
gets to the point now where everything that's close, the girls just wish out because yeah. they're so exhausted. They're, they're not even questioning the calls anymore, are they? They're, they're, they're just, just sort praying. Of looking and yeah, just hoping that something, okay. somebody's going to say something. Two break points. Break for Capriati on a left call. That, that range. These girls are getting standing. Long. These girls are getting standing ovations between points. Capriotti getting and I'm with them. This is fabulous tennis. crowd to their feet. Now and 45 minutes old this match. Remember those two left courts, please. That one uh, in that game there, Jennifer Capretti hit one at break point, which would have given Salas the game. Welcome back to everybody. Cliff Dreisel with Mary Crillo and Fred Stolle. We are on Key Biscayne, which is just moments from downtown Miami. About a 10-minute drive, really, if there's no traffic. 5-4, Monica Salas is leading Jennifer Capriati on serve in the third set of this women's singles quarterfinal match. Jennifer Capriati is still just 14. today. 
Capriati, though, losing to Sellers in the match.